can think, you can choose, or you can think, for example, that poor me, I feel sorry for myself. I'm stuck in this room. I'm stuck in this apartment by myself or a house. Some of, some of us are alone. Uh, maybe you're in a small place, um, isolated, not in touch with a lot of people. And the mind goes to this thing, poor me, and I'm stuck here and I hate it. Or you can look at it this way that I'm in a Buddhist monastery, I'm in a Zen monastery, I'm in Tibet and I'm doing a retreat. I'm do, doing workshop, I'm in a retreat now. And then this place is to teach me to be alone on my own, to bring my attention to myself, to be here. And by bringing my attention to the source of myself, I'm working on establishing this connection with the presence of Her Majesty, the Supreme, the love of God, the actual God, the spirit that lives inside you, and it's here, it surrounds you. When you disengage from the world outside and bring your attention inward, you begin to find this connection. Or you may call it intuitive knowing. Intuitively, I know this. I know that. I'm getting these messages. Uh, someone may say, well, these are my guides speaking to me or I'm channeling. Whatever name you want to put into it or relationship in your mind, your thoughts, you feel you have, the point is that you have established a connection with the spirit that you're becoming aware of. And this connection, this, you're establishing a direct communication with your own being. You can call it my guides. You can call it my intuition. You can call it spirits, angels, my guardian angels. Whatever name you want to call it, it's okay. I don't have a problem with it. But what I would like you to understand is that's the connection with the living spirit or her majesty, the supreme being. And you are noticing this direct dialogue that you have this communication that you begin to have. That the living spirit talks to you, communicates with you. And that communication happens in here and now. So the more we work on this project of unclutching, deconditioning, taking our attention off of the mind that's wandering all over, all over the place, and we're bringing the attention more towards the source of ourselves, the more you begin to feel and have this connection with your own being, this direct communication, direct line. You find it in yourself. Maybe before you need a guru, a teacher, you go to a healer, channeler, or you're reading a book, but now you start to experiencing it directly. And as you're having this internal dialogue or connection in a healthy way, then you begin to see and feel that there's a presence around you. There's a powerful presence here. You can call it your auric field. You can call it the angels or again, whatever name you want to add to it, it's your choice. 
the fact that you begin to feel the presence of God, Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, is here, here, within you, around you. completely protecting you and carrying you. Completely, totally carrying you. And this whole story that has happened, we can look at it in this way of the pandemic, of this force majeure, this situation that we're put in a room, which to some people may be like a cage or your prison or whatever. Uh, we can turn the poison to medicine and using this golden opportunity to recognize the being within ourselves by paying attention. Again, the key words, paying attention, taking your attention off of something which is false, which you've been doing all of your life, putting your attention on a thought. Oh, I don't love myself. I don't have any self-esteem. I'm not good enough. I have all these bad habits. I can't quit sugar da, 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 da. stories that your mind plays for you i'm lonely nobody loves me i can't find my partner i'm never gonna find the love of my life i'm never gonna make it what's gonna happen oh my god i'm so worried what's gonna happen am i gonna die it just keeps coming. Streams of thoughts continuously coming is like garbage. It's just garbage is coming. Garbage after garbage after garbage. The more you're paying attention, you're bringing your attention towards the source of yourself, the more you start to feel the presence, the field of energy, the love, and you're transforming into here and now because that's where it is. And it's always here. It's unconditional. The presence and your connection to God, the presence of the Spirit has nothing to do with anything. It's not conditional. Oh, only I wish this situation would end and I would go to Caribbean islands and I would be happy. It's not somewhere else, it's here. And if you pay attention to it and do, the, do your work right, you will begin to feel it here and you will feel the bliss, the joy, tremendous amount of bliss and joy and satisfaction and balance 